I'm Mitch Drum, a professor at Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, Ohio, and today we're going to answer some questions from the CF community. Christina asks, realistically, how far out are we from seeing gene therapy or gene editing actually being done successfully to people with CF? It's a great time to be optimistic. This is a new technology that's showing promise not just for cystic fibrosis, but all other genetic diseases. And CF is going to lead the charge once again. A lot of uh, groups are working on this area. Uh, the CF Foundation has put lots of resources into this program. I think the timing is going to be very difficult to predict, but it's clearly going to be many years. This technology is so new that we don't know uh, how fast it's, it's going to pursue. And even after we do get it to work there, it's going to take a while to carry out the clinical trials to see how efficacious it is. Connie asks, can gene editing be done at any age? And if so, what form would this come in? So really good questions. We don't know what age is going to be optimal. You know, we, right now we think from the successes with the modulator drugs that earlier is always better. So that's our prediction that the sooner the better. But there's also evidence that it, it will be it could be effective at, in, at older ages as well. And how it's going to be delivered that's a, a, uh, something that we in the labs are, are trying to deal with right now. Uh, largely thinking that maybe breathing in the, the magic uh, elixirs that are going to allow the gene editing to occur is one possibility, just like you'd use your inhaler with uh, albuterol, things like that. Or possibly it's going to be an injection into the bloodstream and let the blood take it to the tissues where it needs to be. At SD Girl Babe asks, will it work for all mutations and variations? Well, that's a great question, and there are two strategies being worked on. One is to go after individual mutations, but as you may know, there's about 2,000 different mutations that can cause the disease. So that is probably going to be the easier strategy for us to work out for a couple of mutations, but we would certainly like to have one recipe that works for everybody. So that may take us a little longer to get to, but that's certainly on the, on the chalkboard and in the direction we're trying to go with the research now. Thank you all for your, your questions. Those were very insightful questions, and I have to tell you that for folks like me who work in the laboratory, it's really uh, wonderful to see the interest from the CF community for what we're doing.